Hello, this is Isabel. Welcome to my grade four dance class. Today we're going to be looking at relationships in dance and movement and how this can influence our movement creation. So get into some comfortable clothes so that you can move around and dance around and I'll meet you here in a minute. So what is a relationship? It's how two people, two objects, two ideas can connect together or any of the above mixed together. So here's me and here's my object and we can play with that, okay? Uh, I'm gonna introduce you to our space, how we're gonna play and dance, different relationships. I'm gonna teach you the step of the day and we're gonna create a bit of choreo. Uh, I would like you to keep in mind how we're gonna do dance today. So what is dance, you know? A friend of mine once said, it's how we get from point A to point B, but it's all how you do it that matters. Okay, that's one thing. Second thing, I would really like you to use your imagination because dance is also about telling stories with our bodies. So we can tell stories with gesture. You all know what this means, okay? But we can tell stories as well with more abstract movement, okay? So I'm making this gesture into something more abstract now. All right, so let's start. I'm gonna do a quick warm up. If you wanna keep your object with you, that could be useful and that's our first relationship. So we have this object and let's, let's just get moving right away. So throw that scarf and catch it. Throw it and catch it. Throw it and catch it. And throw it really far and go catch it. Do that anywhere in your space. So I don't know where you are. You might be in your living room. You might be in your playroom. Just do that. Move that scarf all around. Move it all around really low, really high. And try to throw and catch it when it's really low. Yeah. Challenge yourself a bit. We just want to get our blood moving and our imaginations going. Yeah. Jump, jump, jump. Okay, let's do something a bit more static now. And remember as well in my dance class, it's not about being good. It's about discovering something that you can do that you didn't know you could do, okay? And creating as well. So let's bring our arms up and down. And up and down. Shake it all out. Can you drop your head towards the floor? Nice. And then up, 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 up. You tip your toe as hard as you can. And then really low down. And we're going to go. Let's lie on the floor. Make a big star shape. Pull yourself in. And then again out. And pull yourself in. And out. Nice. Let's stand. So we're gonna close ourselves like we're a book. We're all closed and then we're gonna open up and close. And open up and close. And open up and close. Open up and close. And let's tap ourselves from head to toe. Make sure we haven't forgotten any parts of our bodies. And you can do the back of your body as well. Tap, tap, tap. Your back, your arms, inside, outside. Your cheeks, make sure you wash your hands right now. <laughs> there you go. And shake your arms, nice. Let's grab our scarf. And put our arm up and then pop your foot off the floor. And bring your hand close to your knee. And your knee, you see how far your knee is from your scarf and your hand? Bring them closer. So they're far, 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 far. And now they're close. And then put your foot on the floor, your arm by your side. Switch your scarf to the other hand. Your arm goes up. And you pull yourself, you pull your foot off the floor. And then you come and tickle your knee. And away, 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 away. Pull, pull, pull. And bring them together. 
Nice one last time. See if you can touch your foot. Turn yourself a bit. There you go. Nice. There you go. And let's just uh, make a big airplane shape. There you go. Nah. Use your 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 scarf. Go like this. And back. And then go back, 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 back. Go yourself back. Put that foot on the floor. Let's do that airplane shape again like this. Nice. And back like this. You're practicing your balance. Nice. Put your foot on the floor. Jump, shake, shake everything. And we're gonna swing our arms. Swing, swing. And the last time you, you turn and you clap in front of me. So swing, 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 turn. Stop in front of me. Nice. Swing, swing, swing. And try to use both sides. Stop in front of me. One last time. Swing, 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 turn. Stop in front of me. Nice. Okay. Jump up and down. Uh, let's put our hands on our hips. And we're going to dip our foot in paint. And we're going to paint our name on the floor with this foot. Can you do that? Then switch feet. Finish your name with the other foot. Yeah, just to practice doing something just with your feet. There you go. This time you're gonna plant your feet uh, in the floor and put your legs together. Nothing's gonna move from the waist down. But you're gonna use your arms and your scarf to write your name. So write your name right in front of you. Change, scar change your, the scarf to the other side and finish writing your name so that you use both arms. Nice. Oh, and we can even do this turning. So we're, we're establishing a different relationship. So you're going to write your name all around you. There we go. You can make it flowy or you can make it choppy. Nice. Okay. Good job, everyone. Some of the stuff we just did, we were in our bubble. So my bubble is right here is when I'm moving on my spot in my personal space. Okay, that's my personal space. We call it also non-locomotor non movement. So I can do all this movement right here and not walk around. There's also locomotor movement, which is general space. I'm speaking about space here. You can move around, move around in different ways. And I can get really close to you. <laughs> And I can be really far, 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 far. Okay, let's play with that. So we're gonna play a game. We're gonna play follow the leader. And there's a few ways that we can play this. You know what, I'm gonna keep my scarf with me because uh, it's gonna be fun. <laughs> so you can have that prop to move around with you or not, you could just play without your prop. So follow the leader, everyone knows how this works. I'm going to do something and you're going to copy me. So that's the first thing we could do. So you do exactly like me. If I'm doing this, you're going to copy. If I'm doing this, you're going to copy. You're mirroring me all the time. The second way we could move together, and you at home, uh, you're going to do the opposite of what I'm doing. What would that look like? So I've put a few opposites here. Far, if I'm really far, where are you in relationship to me? You would be really close. And if I'm really close, you would be really far. Got it? Um, over, under. So I could be going over things, or I, can, I could be playing with that scarf over, and you could play with it under. Uh, high, low. So if I'm going really high, really high, 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 high. Don't do this at home without your, the permission of your parents. <laughs> uh, or low, you're going to do the opposite. Then last one we have that we can play with is left, right. So if I go to this side, this is my left, you're going to go to the other side. Okay, and if I go to this side, you're going to go to that side, right? 
Are you ready to play? One last thing. So we've got unison. We do the same. We copy each other, or you copy me, because I can't see you. Then we have opposition. Uh, you do the opposite of what I'm doing. And then we have echo. So to do echo, you will do after me. So I do something, you do something. I do something, you do something. Okay, so that we're echoing each other. Okay, ready? You wanna start? So let's start with unison. We're doing the same. Whatever I do, you're gonna do it. Let me just... And pause. Let's do opposition. You're doing the opposite of what I'm doing. Let's practice. What should you do? What should you do now if you're doing opposite? <laughs> do your best. Let's do echo. So I do, you do. I do, you do. Okay, one after the other. So we're dancing together even though we're not in the same space and we're not in the same time either. That's incredible. And okay. So we've gotten familiar with different ways of moving with a prop. Uh, we've warmed up. We've explored our personal space, general space. Um, and we've played with different relationships. We are going to build a phrase from different ways of moving around our room, our space. So I have a game for you. We're going to pretend that this the green circle is walk. The rectangle is run. Walk, run. The triangle is jump. And this is turn, okay? The blue one is turn. So I'm gonna close my eyes. So we have walk, run, jump, turn. I'm gonna mix them all up and we're gonna make our phrase. Okay. <laughs> Where's the last one? There we go. Okay, what's our phrase? Our phrase is 
Turn, run, jump, walk. Okay, let's see what that is. Turn, run, jump, and walk. Let's practice it again. Okay. Let's do it really like we don't have, we're not feeling much right now, but we'll, we'll add up some feeling to this. Turn, run, jump, and walk. Okay, are we good? You can write it down to memorize it. Usually kids are better than me to memorize, <laughs> at memorizing this. So, okay, so well, I'll keep it somewhere so that I see it. So I'll repeat it a few times again. Turn, run, jump, walk. We can do it in different ways. So let's do it, let's do it facing with this facing relationship. So we're gonna turn facing, turn, turn, turn. We're gonna run. Oh, I'm running backwards. <laughs> run, jump, and walk. Okay? Not facing the last one, but I decided to change the relationship. Okay, that's one way. Let's, let's try to do it again. Same thing. Turn, run, jump, and walk. I'll stay facing, I changed it a bit. You figure out how you're gonna do your phrase. So let's change it up a bit. I've done it facing. How about we do it with our backs to each other? Okay, so you can look at me first. Turn. Run. You can't look at me. <laughs> um, jump and walk. How does that feel? Huh? You want to try it again? So turn. And you see I'm changing it a bit every time because I'm exploring. I'm trying something. Okay? Turn. Run. And run backwards this time. Jump and walk. Okay, it's a different relationship we have because of the screen, because of what direction I'm doing the, the phrase in, okay? Last time, uh, we are going to do it really low on the floor. You wanna try that? See how that feels? Okay, let's do it. So turn becomes a roll. Running becomes some fast crawling. Jump. And walk. <laughs> How about you try that at home? But what does it feel like? I'm gonna do it again with you, okay? So, roll, crawl, jump, and small steps. Remember when we're trying out stuff, it's a little bit messy. We get to clean it up after, okay? But first, you have to let your ideas flow try different things. Um, okay, so let's make a dance with our phrase and with a prop. Okay, we've got a prop here. So we're gonna make a dance. It's called ABA structure. So we're gonna decide right now how we're gonna do this. A is our first way of doing our phrase in relationship to the chair. Okay, uh, so we can be close to the chair. We can be far from the chair. We could be under the chair. <laughs> we could carry the chair. Make sure you, when you do this, you have your parents' approval, okay? We could bring the chair somewhere else. I'm doing this softly so that no one gets hurt. <laughs> we could even jump a bit on the chair. Uh, we could turn with the chair. See what, a, what you can do with the chair. You can lie on the chair. You could put the chair on top of you. What happens when you do that? You lift the chair. Okay, anything you can do with this chair. We have a few things. So. Let's build our first ABA structure. So we start with A, we go to B, 
then we go to A. So let's say A is that we are going to be close to the chair. So we're going to do our sentence or phrase close to the chair. Turning. Running. <laughs> jumping. And walking. Okay, that's our A. Let's practice it again. And of course, you can come up with your own way of doing it. I'm showing off a, a way, well, showing off is probably not the right English word, uh, but I'm showing you what you can do with it. You can either copy me if you feel comfortable, more comfortable doing that, or you could come up with your own way of doing it. Okay? Okay, so turn and run. I'm going to change directions, make it more interesting. Um, next one is jump and then I'm going to walk. Let's practice it one more time. I'm going to make it same-ish. <laughs> turn, run, switch directions, jump and walk. That's our A. B. We're going to be close. Uh, we were close. We're going to be far from the chair. So we're going to turn far from the chair. Let's keep the same sentence, OK? Same phrase. Turn far. Run. We're going to change direction. Then we're going to jump. And then we are going to walk around that chair. So you see what kind of relationship is developing between the chair and I? Do you have some kind of, is, uh, some kind of story going on in your head when you see me do this? See if any idea pops into your head and take these ideas, put them into your dance, okay? So A, we're close, B, we're far. Um, you could pause the video and practice a bit uh, how far this is. Um, uh, how, how far is going, sorry. And then we're going to repeat it. So we're going to go A, close, B, far, A, close. Then we can make it even more complex. But I'll, let's, let's do this first. Okay, let's start. So let's go with A. Let's start, let's have a start position. Let's decide how we're going to start. Uh, I like this, so find a start position that interests you. And then we're going to turn, run, change directions, run, and jump, and walk. And we're going on to B, B, we're going to turn, 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 turn. Far from the chair, far, stop where you are, change direction, run, 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 and jump, and walk. Look at the chair, just to make your point. Okay, let's go back to A. A is turn, stop, change direction, run, and jump, and step. There you go. Don't forget to figure out an ending. <laughs> so we could just stop and then look at the chair. Okay, almost as if the chair is another dancer or something. Okay? This time, we're going to try to do unison or echo. Um, unison, so let's decide right now what we're going to do, and then you can play with it at home. Okay, and you can even use your own music, change the dance as you want. So let's say we'll do A, unison, we're the same. We're going to do B, um, echo, and we're going to do the last A, echo as well. So what's going to happen, I'm going to say, my turn, your turn, my turn, your turn. So we can feel that we're dancing together even though we're in a different time and space. Okay, isn't that cool? Okay, so let's get ready. Did you like your start position? You want to keep that? I'm going to change it a bit, okay? And 
Let's stand up. Look at that chair. And then turn. We're doing the same right now. Stop where you are. Run. Run, run, run. Jump. And walk. Stop. Now it's going to be your turn. You turn, 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 turn all around. And you stop. I'm going to turn, 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 all around. I'm going to stop. You're going to change direction and run, 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 all around the chair. And I'm going to change direction and run, 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 and stop. And it's your turn. Now you're going to jump. And now it's my turn. I'm going to jump. And I'm going to stop. You're going to walk. And you're going to stop. And I'm going to walk. Okay. Now we're back to close. Let's all go close right away together. Together, together, together. Stop. Your turn. You're going to get up, change direction, and run. I'm going to keep my position. You're going to stop. And I'm going to get up, turn, change direction, run. I'm going to stop. You are going to jump. Jump and stop, I'm gonna jump and stop, and you're gonna walk, I'm gonna stop, and you're gonna stop, and I'm gonna walk. Let's stop, and we're all gonna look at the chair. Can you look at the camera too? There we go, we made a quick dance. And that's it for today, thanks for coming to dance with me, I'm Isabel. Next class we'll be playing with pathways, so different ways we can move in our general space and our personal space and we'll be making a dance as well. Have a great day, see you soon.